Hey guys, what's up? Anthony here from the Cultural Hub. Um, I just wanted to show you, uh, as you can see, we're playing our first game of the season uh, against Milan. A very tough opponent for us as we are a... Or we've already done a point in the season, but that's not going to stop us. Um, what I forgot to mention before was uh, I didn't show the transfer, our transfer history, and how we signed the players and how, for how much we signed them. So I'm going to show you right now. Uh, as we can see here, Oops, sorry. Transfer history. As you can see on the outside, where these are all the players that I let go. All these players that have been I left the team on pretty much mostly on loan. And then on this side is all the players we brought in. Uh, so as you see, we spent sixteen million, but we we so we did make a loss, and I I do take granted for that, but it hopefully will pay off in the end. Um, so we we spent sixteen million, but we sold we we uh sold uh players for eleven million, and we still have more players on our team that are worth over a million over a million, but we just seem we just can't lose, we just can't get rid of them uh for now. Just uh, I'll show you the players. Are, as you can see, we bought uh a Stewart for two point six million from a part from Milan. Um, expected to be back in eight days to two weeks. Then we bought a uh, Paolo Valgusa for one point five million from Virt Virtus Intella. Uh, he is our he's in our first team. Then we have Alessandro De Vitis that uh, we loaned him out from Sampdoria. Uh, Marco Cumo we bought him for one point two million from uh, U.S. U.S. Scafatizi. And then Igor Red Igor Redreza, uh, another uh, we loaned him from Renate. Uh, I'll just oh, here we go. I said this a little more. Uh, Federico Barba was the is the second most the most expensive player we have. Bought for one point eight. It was more expensive because we we bought him for one point eight twice. We bought him one point eight from Empoli and we bought him uh one point eight from I believe Roma. I believe they had him. I can see, yeah, Roma. So we had to buy him twice. He had to pay one point eight million twice. Uh, then you have, again, you have a uh, Richard, Richard Mar Marconi from Trapania, uh, one point four million. Marco Valotti, one point three million from Bres from Brescia. Uh, Matteo Filippi, one point two million from Vicenza. Ramsey Aya from Torres, uh, one million. Uh, then you see you see Barba again. We well we paid nine nine twenty five because Romans wanted to get rid of him, which I'm surprised they let him go for that much. And Blake clearly wanted more for a player they they had, and Roma just wanted to get rid of him. Uh, then we have Simon Branca. We bought him from Alto Adige for eight hundred and seventy five. Vincenzo Camilleri from Regina from for eight hundred and seventy five. Andrea Donelli from Benevent Benevento for five hundred and seventy five thousand. Jacopo Fieri from Roma again five hundred and fifty. Andrea Donelli bought him twice because he was own he was co owned by Benevento and Genoa. Loaned uh Jacopo Petrakin Petraconi from Fiorentina. Gianluca Carpani from Esch from Ascoli. Uh Lorenzo Pellegrini from Roma on loan, Mario Mario Petriconi, Petriconicia, butchering everyone's name, as usual. Uh, loan from Milan, and then that's pretty much it for the players we bought. Mo so, all these players on loan. I'm just gonna say that all of them do have a have a a buy clause at the end of their at the end of their loan, so we can buy them for a for a fee that we set. Uh, most of them are pretty high numbers, like five million or. A million or something like that, and I just if we if we get if we go far in the league, we'll have more money, and we can and if they do good, we'll sign them. But obviously, if they're not doing well in the season, I'm not going to spend five million on a player that hasn't done anything. Got the the players we've uh, lo we got rid of, uh, Biabiani, who actually uh, he in real life is not on Parma anymore. They just uh, got rid of his. They just terminated his contract. He hasn't played since. I want to say January, but he hasn't played before that either. He's been uh, dealing with some, with some, with some issues that that he can't really control. 
uh, with his with his health. I believe it, like heart problems. I believe that's why. Uh, I believe in the summer he didn't at the summer transfer window why he didn't go to uh, Milan uh, when uh, when Milan was offering when Milan uh, when Milan wanted Bibiani he did not get them because he, he didn't he didn't pass his physical. And since then, he's been working on it, and they just thought both parties thought they can just best thing would the best thing to do was just uh, best thing to do is just release and uh, work on your health, and then try to get back. He's still young, twenty six years old, so he can still play, still pretty, still pretty good. Like he's very pacey, as you can see if you play FIFA, but I guess he could grow. Then we uh we sold uh so we sold Biabiani to uh, Monaco for eight million. Uh, I believe he used to play for Monaco too. No, he's just French, but he did uh he brought him back to his homeland. Uh, Antonio Maranti uh joined Liverpool for three point five million. Uh, we sold uh Carlos Garcia to Malmo for three hundred and twenty five. Garcia, I think. Uh, he is Swedish, so he wanted to go back to his homeland also. Uh, a young player too, but as you can see, he didn't fit our Italian under-23 team. And uh, hopefully he does good in for Malmo for them. Uh, Massimo Gobi uh, joined Cicenza, Cicenza uh, for 1.75k. Uh, an older player at 33 years old, as you can see. And we just wanted to get rid of him. We sold Fiorenzo Abergati for free to Novera. He is a goalie that's 54. I don't remember doing this. What was this? What is this? This guy's 54 years old. He's... Was he on the team? I'm so confused on what happened. He hasn't played before. Was this our goalkeeping coach? Because I remember we got rid of a, a player like like a coach. This guy's fifty four years old. He he's worth seventeen k. So then we sold out uh, Robert Stilo, uh, a Canadian that is also Italian. We uh we loaned him to our uh affiliated club for Sonia. For for Frosioni, uh, then we sold, we loaned out Cristobal, uh, or Guerra, uh, on Cisenza, on Cisenza, on Cisenza. So we sold, so we loaned out Cristobal, uh, or Guerra on to Cisenza, on loan. Uh, we loaned out a bunch of players after that. We loaned, so the, all the guys in purple, as you can see, these are all these are all teams that are affiliated clubs. If you haven't noticed, so Ivan Santo 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 Giuliana, Diego Rosetto, Luca Pipoli, Solomon Nicantica, Niantaki, Mirko Esposito, Ricardo Verdi, Giovanni Totaro, Martin Martinez, Gabriele Panionessa, pa, pa, Mirko Valiodi. Uh, sorry, Mirko Mirko Valierdi, Andrea Gialambiardo, Isaac Belf Belfoldio. Uh, we sold him. Uh, we loaned him out to Sampdoria, and oh my gosh, he really did well in that game. But yeah, we uh, he would be a really good player. He does have really good stats for his fifteen first touch, fifteen dribbling, and fifteen heading. He might have to work, and his passing isn't bad either. His finishing is eleven, not that bad actually. And uh, we just loaned him to Sampdoria, and because he just doesn't fit our team. Maybe I'll train. Maybe I will change uh, my the strategy. If you guys think it's too harsh, think it's not a good idea, let me know in the comments below. But uh, just. I think it would be a good idea to get to grow the Italian national, the U23 team, and hopefully, maybe I can even get a job with the U23 team. You never know. Another thing, guys, I want you to let me know is that should videos be longer? I know that some YouTubers that play Football Manager, their videos are long, 
Some of them are 20 minutes. Some of them could even be 50 minutes, an hour. I don't know if you guys want me to do that. I'm trying to make it 20 at the most uh, or 25. I don't, I don't want it to be like a half an hour thing where you guys are just bored and just watching me play. If you guys have anything to say about how to make the video better, uh, just let me know. I'm open to to make some changes to the to the save and let me know what you guys think. Some of you have already said what you what I should do, and I really appreciate it. Thank you again for guys for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and we all do at the Cultural Hub here. Again, please visit the Cultural Hub dot com. Uh, that is the Cultural Hub dot com. Um, again, we are we are posting video. We're doing a uh, posting articles about. Italian news, but for English-speaking fans, and uh, if you enjoy it, please check us out. Drop a like on our Facebook page, or follow us on Twitter, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. That's a big game already. Napoli and Roma, Fiorentina and Inter. Two big games in the first first day. So let's see who Milan has to put out. And every... Football manager save I've done, and I've seen Milan because I sometimes get like their subscriptions on who which players they get. They always sign Fernando Gago, every single time. He's always either linked to them, but he just makes they just sign him, and I've done a, a lot. I've done a lot of of saves when Milan is my favorite team, and they and they, I always get subscriptions to them and Gago, always. That's what the point. So, uh, they're putting out a nice 4 1 4 1 4 1. Or. What are they putting out? They're putting out a nice 4 1 2 3. Yeah, they're putting out a nice 4 1 4 1. That's what they're, that's what they're doing. So, Milan's putting out a nice 4 1 4 1. Um, they're going to be pressing hard against us. So let's see if we can take them out. So this is our starting team. No one's really hurt. Everyone seems to be at least a 90. Except for Ramsey. He may have to come off early. Uh, let's see how this, like the, this isn't a set lineup. Obviously, some players will move. Like, maybe Fairy doesn't work, or Valotti doesn't work, or Branca won't work. Any player won't, if anyone doesn't work, it's just the first game, and we're going to work out, and which guy, all these guys on the bench will have an opportunity to play. And uh, let's see if we can beat them. So, as you can see, we're playing a nice 3 1 5 1 uh, formation with a DM, with a defensive midfielder, and. Okay. A lot of people are obviously saying Milan's going to win this game because they're just a more experienced club than us. So Milan's key man is uh, Menez. Obviously, he's been he's been their top player this year. Milan's four to six favorites. Well. Wow. Nope, this is new this year. You're doing tunnel interviews. Um, you sprung a few surprises with your team selection today. What's the thinking behind that? Uh, some players will play here. Others will play another fixture. I'm not going to say that. Uh, some players will play here. Some others will play in another fixture. It's about using the squad in a balanced fashion. Yeah, that's it. So Milan's playing again a 4-1-4-1 with Armero, who hasn't played that much this year, actually. Um, Alex, Rami, and DeShilio, uh, who hasn't really performed to his praise. He made the World Cup squad uh, last summer and hasn't really done anything this year. Then they have their new signing, Gago, uh, as their DM. They have Montalivo and Poli as their CMs or other other cams. And then they have Bonaventura and Menez as their wingers and Cherchi as their striker. And they didn't really bring anyone else in. No. And then you can see us. And uh, they're, playing, they're playing a 4 1 2 3. Makes sense. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna say stick on Menez. I'm gonna uh we're gonna tightly mark him and we're gonna close down on him. Cherchi too, I want him people to always mark him and close in on him. Uh even Bonaventura. And that's pretty much it. Let's just see maybe to show Cherchi onto his weaker foot. Okay, so we'll put Cherchi onto his weaker foot. That's it. Uh, tell the players they can enjoy themselves. They have nothing to lose here. I always like to go calm or passionate before a game. Uh, I'm going to say, come on, lads. Show everyone what you can do. Usually doesn't really happen. People look nervous. People look keen. That's people are deep in thought. That's it, our first game, and we're playing with 3D graphics. I know some people like to play with 2D, but I'm playing with the 3D. I just like playing with the, the 2 I like playing with the 3D over the 2D. It sims more, so. Okay, Galgo, Montalivo. Nice chip pass to Menez. Menez to Cherchi. Oh, Petroconi, nice, nice uh, recover. Oh my gosh, who's watching that? Fuck, who's Cherchi? Who's watching him? Night. Oh, fuck. Look, Aureli, you're. Oh, come on. Not De Jong taking a penalty shot? Oh, it's Alex. What? And he scores. What the fuck? You struggle to control possession. Obviously. Obviously, you struggled. Oh, he's not out. What? He was out. Oh my god. Get it out. So far, you look sloppy. Oh, I saved Marconi. I'm taking a knock, he should be okay. Oh, Caparni. The Velo. No. Oh, yeah. Don't get out muscled by Armero. Armero's just doing a lot. Nice. Fuck. Oh, corner. Yeah, we were gonna win that. Oh. Okay. That's it. Shit. So we haven't really done anything, but the the little bit of we we've shown, I, I might have to check the check, fix the simming of the game, but it just hasn't looked that well. We just haven't. We have done done nothing. They've been Milan's been pressuring us, which is obvious. But like, come on, the players have been haven't been doing bad. Their ratings are above five. Uh, I don't want to say we've been unlucky. We just have to most match for the win tonight. Actually, we can still come out of this match with a win tonight. I'm gonna say that no one cares. Every time, nice stadium. There's Menez. One guy on him, not three. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Look Arelli. No. What are you doing, Petricone? Other way. You could have moved. Milan's are coming out of the gates. Menez. The poly. Back to the Shilio to Romero. Romero crosses it and nothing happens. 
Oh my gosh, nice pass. With... Fuck. That was a nice passing play from Milan. This, why can't I play this, like this in real life? The Shilio. Nice pass from Bonaventura. Cherichu was just wide open. By Lucarelli and... Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to make some subs, obviously, but come on. Patrick Honey, nice. But they... Oh. Just have a go, but, like, move. You don't have to, like, hold back. That was, uh... Oh, no, I missed. We have an idea to number of shots. We made long-range efforts. Gotta go. Oh, shot on the yellow. And nothing happens over that fury misses. Okay, we're gonna make a sub. After this... Barba. Barbara. Yeah, nice. Fuck. Oh. It's like a sub. Patrick Colony looks tired, so I'm gonna take him out. Has not been really doing that much. Take with the guys that haven't been really impressing. So Lucarelli's gonna be out. Let's put in Presti for Lucarelli. Colony's been doing the best on the team, which I didn't really see that, but. Let's just switch it around. Let's put some players in. Uh, I really want to see Mari in. Let's put him here. And uh, that's it for now. Let's just see. Two subs. Two subs in that. Churchy. Bon Ventura. Their cross has been really good tonight for Milan. Uh, Barba's hurt. Fa Napoli. An injury already. We just took off thing. Camilleri's going to be playing. For Barbara. He's hurt. I want to make one. I'll make another sub after. I could the 80th. A lot of players are frustrated already. Already, a lot of players are frustrated. You know, I'm not gonna go stand. I'm gonna go attacking. We're already down two nothing. Why not? Oops. Oh, it's the 80th. 84th. No good. Oh, man. I guess I'm going to put him out. A lot of players. What? I already made three? Oh, I forgot I made three. The game's almost over. So, with three minutes at a time. Wow. All attack. We're already. I'd rather just overload the players. Nice. I don't know. What happens when you overload? That's what happens when you overload. Nice. Get. Wow. Sweet passage from Milan. They miss. Okay, we have three. Oh, nice pass. Hey! Valotti! And the 90. Grab that ball. Nice pass from Carpani. Over the top. Over the defender. Who was the defender? Was it Alex? Mex says. Over Mex says. Valotti chips it over Diego Lopez. We're just down by one and we're overloading. Let's go. 
Can we make it two? Oh, we can't make it two, Velotti. Oh, don't fucking waste time. Ah, oh, come on. No. Oops. That, oh, don't... Just dump it out. Just... You know they're gonna waste time. Fuck. No, oh, don't call it. Don't call it. Don't call it. Don't call it. Any call. <sighs> Not a bad effort from the players, I'm going to be honest. We weren't expected to win, but... Where, where, was the, where was this motivation after? I might have to make them start off attacking more. Don't be harsh on the players after that. The result wasn't ideal, but they played very well. You know what they did? Played very well in like the later half of the game. And we have to see how Barb was going to be hurt out for. Uh, I'm going to be calm... I'm not too concerned despite the results. We were we were unlucky out there. I can't fault your effort. Nobody expected us to win. So I'm sorry, that was a pleasing performance. I don't want to say that, but they're gonna get mad watch when I say that. Oh, they're happy. Wow. So that's the first game, so September is is a really busy month. Uh, we face, we don't play this week, we have a week off, we face uh, Sampdoria on the 13th, then Torino, oh sorry, no, we face Torino on the 14th, then we play Atalanta on the 21st, then we play Empoli on the Wednesday, and uh, Fiorentina on the 28th, and that's for September. So you know what, I'm going to put the next video, I'm going to show the... I'm sure the transfer window for us is just a little quick. I don't think we're going to make that many moves or even that any moves, if anything. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, we'll see if Barbara gets hurt. If you want to find out how, how Barbara's doing, please uh, check out the next video. Uh, we are... I just want to say thank you for everyone. I just want to say thank you to everyone who uh, watched uh, the first two episodes. Um, even if it's not a lot of people, I still really appreciate anyone that that's watching, and I know that they have a, they know, I know that they, uh, really enjoy watching Football Manager saves, and how they much they obviously like the, like the game as much as I do, um, and I just hope you guys can also check out the website, again, it's theculturalhub.com, uh, I'll put a link below, and, uh, be on the video, right at the bottom, uh, if you can visit that website, Please let me know uh, what you guys think. Uh, please uh, to read read the posts. Our writers work hard on it. Uh, follow us on Twitter uh, at the Cultural Hub, and we have a Facebook page which I'll put in the link below. I'll put in the, in the description below. Um, again, thank you for everyone that's watching. Please remember to comment, subscribe, and like on the video and our channel. Um, Please let me know what you do, what you think about the video. I will, uh, they will, I will look over your suggestions and put them into the save. Uh, this isn't just for me; it's for also you guys. So let me know if you guys think some players should leave, uh, which players I should put out. Maybe you guys can let me know which uh, players I should I should look forward to in the January transfer window. Uh, since we only have a day, I don't know what I can do in a day. But the next transfer window, maybe you guys can let me know. Or maybe it's too early. Maybe we should wait till like November. Um, again, uh, just let me know what you guys think, and thank you for watching, and have a good day. See you later.